We are now focusing and putting all of our effort in our rapid and sustainable economic growth and balanced development of Nepal. The economic condition of Nepal is gradually improving. We have projected this year's growth to the highest in more than two and a half decades. Almost all the microeconomics indicators are positive Building on these achievement, we are committed to achieve all sustainable development goals and thereby become a middle income country by 2030. Current 14th development plan has clearly prioritized infrastructure, agriculture, industry, energy and tourism to attain the SDGs, bilateral trade and enhance connectivity for that is also in our post priority. Provides a very important opportunity for the scholars from China and the South Asian countries. Um, the initiative of Belt and Road with the development of South Asian countries and the, the cooperation between China and the South Asian, I think is a very meaningful event. China has uh, common boundaries with five of the eight South Asian countries. And uh, we, China and these eight South Asian countries are all good neighbors, good partners and good friends. In the past few de decades, the achievements uh, made by the relations between China and the South Asian, uh, South Asian countries are very encouraging. At present, China is working hard for its goal to, for the development of its country.